The pre-interval scene is insane. Shah Rukh has never been presented like this and it is the coolest he's looked on screen since dawn. Just a few months after Pathan, Shah Rukh Khan is back on the big screen. Was it better? Was it worse? Let's find out. The first question I'd like to start with is how much is too much? This is a question that is meant for mere mortals. Our madmi is like you and I. Atli doesn't care. This was my first Atli movie and I now understand why everyone says that one Atli movie has three movies. It's a lot of movie and I mean a lot a lot. Koi spoiler diye bagair, here's all the topics this movie covers. Farmer suicide, ministers being useless in general, how no matter who we vote for, we lose, the importance of the rich actually using the money for good, how bank loans are cheaper for luxury cars than they are for tractors, reformation through jail time, a faulty healthcare system, the importance of questioning those in charge when necessary, arms and ammunition scams, and women empowerment. Yeah, like I said, a lot. While the massy nature of this movie allows for the messages to be conveyed fairly directly to the audience, at times it does feel preachy. However, it is Shah Rukh Khan that saves this from being a long PSA and arrives in full mass mode like never before. In what is probably his coolest role since dawn, Shah Rukh Khan wins everything. It's almost like a three hour long showreel of everything he's good at. You get to see him as a villain, you get to see him as an anti-hero, you get to see him as a hero, you get to see him as a father, you get to see him as a son, you get to see him as a comedian, you get to see him as a romantic, you get to see him as Ghajini, Moon Knight and so much more. I have to say though, despite everything we get to see him as, Vikram Rathod has all my heart. He is the best part about the movie, hands down. Also special shout out to Bal Shah Rukh, a sentence I never thought I would say. But they played around with his voice and he's such a deliciously fun and dark character. I love it. There were a couple of weird things that I'm not sure how I feel about. One of them being the fact that Riddhi Dogra plays the role of Shah Rukh's mother. Riddhi is 38 in real life, Shah Rukh is 57. Like, I know movie ka naam Jawan hai, but come on guys, I thought we were past this. There are so many more talented actresses out there and there are so many more better roles for a talented actress like Riddhi for her to be doing something like this. I can see it though, it's a big movie because she gets to work with Shah Rukh. I can see why she does it. But I can't see why she was offered the role in the first place. And to put things into context, Nayan Tara, who plays another important role in the movie, is also 38 in real life. Which means that his mother and lover in the movie are the same age in real life. Where's the logic? Also, I can't lie, the main beats of the story were very similar to Gabbar is Back and a lot of people had already seen the similarities with Akhri Rasta. So, the story definitely wasn't novel. And at one point in the movie, Shah Rukh even says, Rathod, Vikram Rathod. Is it a hat tip? Is it a happy coincidence? Or does Atli just happen to be an Aki fanboy? Either way, I'm not complaining about that. I'd love to see a three-way collaboration between them. Or as Shah Rukh would call it, a threesome. The movie starts off as an action thriller till Zinda Banda comes on, then it becomes a romantic comedy till Chalea comes on, and after that it turns into a mass action thriller again. Basically, it's a roller coaster ride for which there isn't nearly enough suspension, but you still enjoy it because of how cool it looks and feels, and its name, or at least the name of the person it's associated with. My biggest gripe with the movie, however, was the de aging of Shah Rukh Khan's face. Like, the makers didn't have to take the name of the movie so seriously also. We know his real age and we even know what he looks like in real life. So it's very unsettling to see special effects that make it look like he was face-tuned in real time. It's SRK man, we love him with or without a few more wrinkles. Besides, it doesn't really help them that he's at his best when he's playing the older man in the movie. Everything said and done, Atli does what no one else has done before. Never, never ever has Shah Rukh Khan been presented to the audience in this manner. He looks so bloody cool, so bloody comfortable and so bloody. Yeah, so bloody but amazing. The pre-interval scene is insane. Like I said, Shah Rukh has never been presented like this and it is the coolest he's looked on screen since dawn. Just when it feels like the movie is taking a downturn, here comes this scene and blows the roof of the theatre. What an interval block, just wow. For that and the multiple cigar flicks that we get to see in the movie, Atli, I will forever be indebted to you. Also, a big thank you to GK Vishnu, the cinematographer of this movie, who has done a kick-ass job and gives us so many wallpaper-worthy stills, none of which are in the trailer. So something to watch out for in the theatre. 
the first half like i said is equal parts everything whereas the second half is where the meat of the story lies the movie is full of meta references but i'll leave you to spot them for yourselves cuz that's the fun of it isn't it i'll be honest if it wasn't for srk and his sincerity i probably wouldn't have enjoyed the movie as much especially the bits that felt like psas but because it's him it feels real i always talk about everything that has happened in his life in the past few years and how he is often ridiculed for not publicly speaking on matters that other actors and public figures usually do well in this movie he talks and this was very smartly done because at one point he talks directly to the camera directly to his audience he breaks the fourth wall and he urges them to introspect the thin line between fact and fiction gets blurred and as a result the psa works he says everything he needs to say as a character through his film the best way an artist can that's all i'll say for now maybe i'll make a video later on breaking everything down but till then for those celebrating happy sharukh khan day i wish i could say happy jawan day to all but given the kind of movies we've been seeing i think the former will suffice so happy sharukh khan day happy movies see you at the cinemas till then no see you at the cinemas with my ranveer kapoor i'll see you with another video soon till then take care and peace take take care and peace sharukh has been all confused also anirudh man i hope you delivered better on this one i was really looking forward to it but hey oh still love the title track <laughs>